Welcome to a configuration tutorial hosted by UPG. We will show you the setup of VRS and starting a survey using Trimble Access 2020. To start this survey, you will need either a TSC7, T7 or T10, a receiver and a SIM card. In this demonstration, we will be using the TSC7 and R10 receiver. We will be starting a new job within the project and the job name will be VRS. A coordinate system will need to be selected. In our job, we will be selecting Australia, GDA 94 and Zone 56. A geoid will be selected. We will choose Geoid 09 with a project height of 10 metres. Once you're happy with these settings, press enter and store. And you're happy with these current settings in the job, accept. We will then select GNSS receivers in our auto connect options and then the Hamburg in the top left hand corner settings survey styles we will then create a new survey style and the name for the survey style is VRS now and the style type is GNSS select rover options RTK is a survey type and broadcast format is VRS brackets CMR we will then select an antenna type our antenna type is the R10 Scroll down to GNSS signal tracking. We will turn on all constellations and deselect tilt functions. Once you've checked over the settings, press accept and then select rover data link. Our type will be internet connection and select the arrow to the right and select new and our name for the GNSS contact is VRS now. Keep all settings as default our network connection is operating system Wi-Fi cellular. All settings below in Entrip configuration will stay as is. Enter in your username for VRS and password. The IP address will be www.vrsnow.com.au and the IP port will be 2101. Check over the settings. Once you're happy, select enter and store. Accept once the GNSS contact has been created. Accept and store the survey style. Now we've created the survey style, we are ready to start a survey. We will now make a Bluetooth connection to the receiver by hitting the Bluetooth icon and the search button. This will search for any devices that are currently turned on. Once Trimble Access has found your device, you will have it appear in Discovered Devices. Select your device and select Pair. Follow the prompts to establish a connection. This will be made through Windows. If a password is needed, the password is four zeros. Once the connection has been established, we will be able to set the receiver to GNSS Rover. Accept this option. The receiver will make a connection to the controller. Select the receiver icon on the top tab. Start survey and select VRS now as our survey type. Mount points will be displayed. Please select the correct mount point based on the coordinate system settings within the job properties. We will select TVN underscore CMR underscore X based on the GDA 94 coordinate system setting. A connection to the base will be established. Once this has been made, a green tick next to the globe at the top of the page will appear. Press escape and in the top right hand corner you will see the RTK residuals. Wait for these numbers to drop to a nominal tolerance and you will see a green tick next to these numbers once that has been achieved. When the green tick appears, please check onto a known control point. If there is any issues, please check the coordinate system settings and the mount point that you have selected. Thank you for watching. If you have any further questions, please call our support hotline on 1800 800 874.